Today's lesson is topic writing. Writing about a picture. Hi, everybody. I'm Roger. And I'm Henny. And today is our topic writing unit for the month of November. We're coming to the end of November now, just in time to have our topic writing unit. And today we are writing about a picture. This is an interesting concept. You're going to be presented with a photograph, and you're going to look at that picture. You're going to study it, and then you're going to write about that picture. And we've got kind of an interesting picture today. We've got some people who look like they're at the beach, and they are using bags and things like that. Maybe they are cleaning things up, or maybe they're taking things out of the bag and. Making the beach dirty on purpose? Who knows? But in any case, you can look at this picture and then write something about it. 好，我们这个月的主题是写作，要来练习看图写作。那在写这一类类型的写作题目时，我们必须先仔细阅读写作要求，然后再参考图片，依据图片所提供的讯息来写出一篇符合题意，而且是论述要顺畅的文章。那通常这个题目就会要求我们要针对图片里面的事件啊，或者是讯息等等来表达看法或是醒思。那所以我们就今天的题目会是一张图片。可以看得出来，里面是有一群人在从事净滩活动。那我们现在就准备来进入练习写作吧。好，那么今天的这张图片是关于净滩活动，我们就可以看到有一群人他们在净滩。那我们要写一篇大约是一百八十字的英文作文。那第一段我们就是要来描述图片，说明这些人正在做什么，还有他们这么做的原因目的。那么第二段是要说明从他们行为当中你获得什么样的启发和感想。好，那现在我们就来看看我们课文范例他怎么引导我们去练习这个写作。嗯哼 ，Here's how we're going to describe the picture. In the picture, there is a large gathering of people at the beach. So there is a group of people gathered together at the beach in this picture. And it looks like, or they seem to have taken it upon themselves to pick up plastic bottles and other trash scattered along the shoreline. So it seems to me, it looks like they have taken it upon themselves. They have volunteered to do this. They're going to pick up plastic bottles and other kinds of trash or garbage or rubbish that is all over the shoreline in different places. It is scattered along the shoreline. 好，那我们第一段是要描述图片当中的人正在做什么，还有他们这么做的原因。那所以看到课文范例一开始就有提到说，在图片里面呢、啊，有一大群人聚集在海滩上，似乎不是在玩乐放松，而是主动去捡起散落在海岸线上的塑胶瓶啊，还有其他垃圾。所以这段就是在描述他们正在做什么。那接着课文范例就写到说，他们为什么会这么做，或是为了什么样的目的 ？Okay, and it goes on to say their efforts are evident. It's very Clear that they're working hard, and their efforts are evident as they go the extra mile to restore the beach's cleanliness. Yes, they're making extra effort. They're working extra hard to return the beach to its original clean condition. Cleanliness just means the state of something being clean. 好，那他们的目的其实就是要尽心尽力、不遗余力的去恢复这个海滩的清洁。好，那换我们写写看呢？我们也可以写说，哎，这个图片显示啊，有一群人正在清理这个散落在海滩上的塑胶瓶，还有其他垃圾。那似乎是在参与一项这个净滩活动。你也可以强调是自愿性的净滩活动。那目的就是要维持海滩清洁嘛。好，那么你后面还可以加一句说，这个目的可能是为了要让大家有一个更舒适、更宜人的环境。这样，那我们请 Roger 老师告诉我们这一段，换你写写看，可以怎么写 ？Here's how you might write about this. The picture shows a group of people cleaning up plastic bottles and other waste scattered across a beach. So that's what the picture shows. We can see these people picking up those plastic bottles. They're cleaning up the beach, and they're also picking up other kinds of waste or garbage or trash or rubbish that is scattered across a beach somewhere. And they appear to be participating in a volunteer cleanup effort with the goal of maintaining the beach's cleanliness and creating a more enjoyable environment. For all, so that's what this picture shows us. It's showing us them cleaning up the beach. It does appear that they are participating in a volunteer cleanup effort. They are volunteers. They're doing it without pay, and they have this goal to maintain the beach's cleanliness, to keep it nice and clean, 
and they want to make it even more enjoyable for everybody, for all people. 好，那我们接着要进入写作的第二段。那第二段要说明从他们行为当中，你获得什么样的启发和感想，甚至是驱使你做出什么样的改变。所以我们就先看到课文范例，他第二个段落就会先写到他所获得的启发感想。那我们来看看他怎么写的。Okay, here's what we're going to say next. Seeing their dedication has prompted me to recognize my own responsibility toward the environment. I believe that I too can contribute by reducing plastic use. So here we're bringing it into the first person. Here, this is what I can do. I see their dedication. I admire what they're doing, and that has prompted me, or it has given me the idea to recognize my own responsibility toward the environment. I can make my contribution too. And I believe that I can contribute by reducing plastic waste or by reducing plastic use. So yes, indeed, I do use plastic quite a lot in my daily life. Maybe I can cut down on my plastic use to help save the environment. 看到别人在为地球尽一份心力，这么用尽全力的去帮忙维护整洁，这些可能也会让你有所启发。那像课文范例，他就提到说，看到他们这些奉献精神，就促使我认识到自己对环境的责任。那也相信可以透过减少塑胶的使用来做出贡献。好，那换我们写写看，也许你也可以写说，他们的努力贡献啊，努力的奉献，让我开始更关注到自己在生活中对塑胶的使用。那那么简单的说，就是要减少使用塑胶这样子。那我们请 Roger 老师告诉我们，换你写写看，可以怎么写 ？Here's how you might write it. Their hard work and dedication have inspired me to start paying more attention to how I use plastic in my own life. So these two things, their hard work and their dedication, these things have inspired me to pay more attention to how I use plastic in my own life. Simply put, or to put it simply, to come straight to the point. I want to use less of it. I want to use less plastic. 嗯，确实看到这些团体他们自动自发的行为会提升旁人的一些意识。你会注意到自己也许也有一些责任要负起来。好，那我们再看到课文，接着就要提到说，那你还要举例说明说可以做到什么事情。那我们看看课文这边范例他采取了什么样的行动。Yep, here are some ways that I could reduce plastic use. I can bring a reusable water bottle and utensils with me when I go out to cut down on plastic waste. Uh, yes, indeed. Use some kind of flask or something instead of buying water at a convenience store in plastic bottles, and bring your own utensils like your own chopsticks and your fork and your knife, and you can cut down on plastic waste that way. I could also take part in community activities similar to beach cleanups. I can do something like the people in the picture are doing. Finally. I think that while an individual's impact might seem small, collective actions, or when everybody works together, can yield or produce significant results in protecting our environment. We can all do this together. 好，没错，这边课文范例就有提到几个例子，像是随身携带可以重复使用的水瓶器皿，那么或是参与类似净滩的社区活动，那这也提供了发挥影响力的绝佳机会。那最后这边也提到说，尽管一个人的影响或许看起来很小，可是集体行动呢，确实可以一起保护我们的环境，在这上面产生重要的结果。好，那换你写写看，我们也来想想看可以做到哪些事，也许你就可以想想看说。刚刚我们说，我想要减少塑胶的使用。那现在就要列举你可以做出的改变。举例来说，像外出购物的时候，你可以用环保购物袋啊，或者是可能用肥皂取代这些瓶瓶罐罐的沐浴洗涤用品啊。还有，你也可以想说，可以奉献献出你的时间给那些非营利组织，他们是致力于这种环境保护或是保护海洋的非营利组织。那我们补充一下哦，刚刚用到 reusable 是可重复使用。用的，那我们就可以用 reusable shopping bag 来指环保购物袋。还有呢，我们说到非营利组织，你可以说 non-profit organization， 简称为 NPO。可是注意一下，如果是 non-governmental organization， 则是 NGO， 它是非政府组织的意思，所以要区别一下。好，那我们接着就请 Roger 老师告诉我们，换你写写看，可以怎么写 ？Here's how you might write it. To do that, I plan to take actions such as utilizing reusable shopping bags or using those reusable shopping bags, not to use disposable shopping bags. I can do this whenever I go shopping, 
and I can also choose bar soap over liquid soap to reduce my consumption of plastic containers. Indeed, if you use a bar of soap, that can reduce the amount of plastic you use because liquid soap, of course, comes in bottles. And furthermore, I am enthusiastic about dedicating my time to nonprofit organizations devoted to environmental protection. And the preservation of marine life. So I am enthusiastic about this. I am excited about dedicating my time to contributing or volunteering for these nonprofit organizations, and I want to be like them and devote my time to environmental protection. And I want to preserve or protect marine life, life in the sea. 好，那我们现在来到写作的最后，我们第二段的最后就是要重申自己的感想。那我们就来看看课文范例他怎么写。Okay, we go on to say by encouraging more people to join in and do their part, we can create a cleaner and more beautiful planet for the generations to come. That's our conclusion here. We don't just want to do this ourselves, but we want to encourage other people to join in and participate with us. And have some sort of group activity, and we can all do our part. We can all play our role to create a cleaner and more beautiful planet, planet Earth, for generations to come. So that the younger generation won't think we've left a big, dirty planet behind for them to clean up after us with. 好，刚刚说如果只有一个人做，影响力可能比较小。但是如果可以集合大家一起来做的话，这个力量是很大的，就是不容小觑这样子。那我们最后来看看呢，课文范例这边写到说，借由鼓励更多人加入，并且尽自己的一份力量，那就可以为未来的世代创造出更干净而且更美丽的地球。那换你写写看，我们也可以提到说，借由尽一己之力，还有鼓励别人参与，然后可以让这个地球或我们这个世界成为一个。更安全、更干净，还有更快乐的地方。那这边要补充一个用法是 pitch in。好 ，pitch in 这个片语动词呢，它表示同心协力、一起参与、来提供支援的那种意思。那它有及物和不及物用法。那还有一个意思相近的是 chip in，c h i p chip in， 它可以指出一份力或是提供一点帮助。那它其实还有找大家一起出钱、凑钱的那种意思。好，那我们接着来听听看 Roger 老师这个，换你写写看，可以怎么？ Here's how you might write it: by doing our own parts, by participating and encouraging others to pitch in or to join in, I think we can make the world a safer, cleaner, and happier place for everyone. So yes, if everybody plays their part and they all pitch in and they help and they have a responsibility along with everybody else, yes, we can make the world a safer, cleaner, and happier place for everyone to enjoy for many years to come. 好，那我们接着就准备要进入第二部分，来看看我们的文章喽。And here is our article. It's entitled "An Inspiring Image." Of course, we're talking about the picture of those people on the beach cleaning it up, and it's very inspiring. We look at that and we want to do something. And in the picture, there is a large gathering of people at the beach. These people have gathered there. It's a group of people. And instead of simply playing and relaxing, they seem to have taken it upon themselves to pick up plastic bottles and other trash scattered along the shoreline. So yeah, they're not there just to enjoy themselves and play and relax and get a sun bath and go swimming. They've actually taken it upon themselves to clean it up. They are doing this. Of their own volition, they have volunteered to do this, and they are not just hanging out there and、uh, wasting time. They're picking up those plastic bottles and all that other trash that is all over the shoreline, which of course is the part of the land that meets the sea. There, you could say the coast as well. Their tireless efforts are evident as they go the extra mile to restore the beach's cleanliness. So yes, indeed, it's very clear. It's very evident that they are. Putting in extra effort here, they're going the extra mile to restore the beach to its original condition of being very clean, and witnessing so many people volunteering to clean up the environment is truly touching and inspiring. So, if I see this, if anybody witnesses this. And you witness those people volunteering of their own volition to take it upon themselves to clean up the beach, to clean up the environment. Yes, indeed, it does move my spirit. I believe in humanity again. <laughs> 好，那我们来看看这个段落呢，有两个用语要补充，一个是 
take it upon oneself to do something. 这是用来表达说主动去做某事，把什么视为己任。那它其实是表达那种尽管没有人要求人自动自发去做某事的意思，主动负起做某事的责任。那注意 take it upon oneself， 这时候这个 it 它是虚受词。那么真正的受词则是后面我们接的 to do something 这个不定词片语的部分才是我们的真正受词。那第二个要补充的用语是 go the extra。Mile, 它表示付出更多的努力，也可以用 put in extra effort 去表达差不多的意思。好，那补充一下 ，go the extra mile， 它字面意思是多走一英里路。那我们可以想象，某个人他其实已经抵达终点线，可是又往前多跑一英里的距离，就是用来比喻某个人他为了达成某个目标，然后付出比别人期望还要多还要大的努力。那就可以表达出那种尽心尽力啊，加倍努力，不遗余力的意思。那你可以在后面加上 to do something， 或者是 for somebody or for something。好，那我们接着来看下一个段落。Okay, our essay continues now into the next paragraph. It says, "Seeing their dedication has prompted me to recognize my own responsibility toward the environment." So I see their dedication, which refers to their willingness. To commit to this task, to this purpose, to this job, they're not going to give up, and it's prompted me to recognize my own responsibility. To prompt here just means to give you an idea about something, to activate you, to trigger you, and yes, indeed, it、uh, makes me recognize my own responsibility for protecting the environment, and I believe that I too can contribute by reducing plastic use. If you contribute, of course, you. Do your part along with other people. You make a contribution, and of course, this person wants to make that contribution by reducing the use of plastic. And here's an example. For example, I can bring a reusable water bottle and utensils with me when I go out to cut down on plastic waste. I can reduce plastic waste. By using a reusable water bottle instead of a disposable water bottle, and I can also use utensils like my fork and my spoon, and not use those disposable ones. Moreover, or in addition, also, I could also take part in community activities similar to beach cleanups. That's not the only thing you can do. Besides a beach cleanup, there are other things you can do as well because these provide a wonderful opportunity to make a difference, and you can probably make some new friends as well. And finally, I think that while an individual's impact might seem small. Collective actions, or actions by a lot of people working together, can produce or yield significant results in protecting our environment. Yes, indeed, if we all work together, we can make a difference. And by encouraging more people to join in and do their part, we can create a cleaner and more beautiful planet for the generations to come. Indeed, we're not just doing it for ourselves; we're doing it for our children's children's children. 好，那这个段落我们同样来看两个用语，一个是 cut down on something， 或者是 cut down something， 它可以表达减少、削减什么什么。那其实你也可以说 cut back on something， 意思也是差不多的。那再来看到 make a difference， 就好像是要做出一个差别一样，它其实是表达做出改变、产生影响的意思。那常常是指正面或是好的改变而产生影响。那你可以加上 big、a lot of、much、little、small、no。等等，去表达这个影响的程度，像 make no difference， 那就是没有产生任何影响喽。Okay, that brings us to the end of our topic writing unit for the month of November. It was a lot of fun looking at that picture and writing an essay based on that picture. And of course, you can write essays based on all sorts of different pictures. We wish you the best of luck from all of us here at All Plus Interactive English. My name is Roger, and I'm Hanny. Goodbye. Bye bye.